from pepper spraying a man for no reason at all. Get in the knife fight. I'm gonna do it again. There, how do you like it now? To throwing a man around for not rolling out the red carpet. No. Do not. I didn't, I didn't, I'm not resisting, dude. Why are you throwing hands on? Watch a bunch of crazy cops lose their heads. Disclaimer. On June 18th, 2017, a Bridgeton police officer, no, not that Bridgerton, was dealing with two drunk men after they had pushed their car into a gas station caused a ruckus. Stay in the car. I'll be in Bridgerton. Stay in the car. Have a seat in the car. You're in the car now. Have a seat. Do you think it's real smart smoking a cigarette at a gas pump? Alright, right, can I see your license? Yes. Where are you coming from? Hopewell. Hopewell? Yeah. Are you sitting here yelling stuff at people? No, I haven't. No? No. You've been drinking? No. No? I'm just sitting here waiting for gas. Okay. Where are the keys at for the vehicle? In the dash. In the dash. How much you have to drink? Anything? No. I'm just sitting here for gas. Wait right here. Put your cigarette out, you're at the gas pumps. John Greer also showed up, and the two officers decided to try to figure out what to do next. No operation. There's an open bottle on the floor, empty whiskey bottle. So they're out of gas. All they gotta say is they pushed it here and then drank because they're waiting for it to open up. I don't know how long they've been here. Right. Keys are on the dash, not in the ignition. No intent at this Correct. point. Correct. They're just hitting with the open, open container. I just want to make sure that we're on the same thing. Yeah, I mean, keys are on the dash, you're on private property. You don't have operation, you don't have intent. Yeah. After the officer went to write a ticket for driving with an open container, John was left to keep an eye on the two drunks. And right from the get-go, the two did not get along. Stay in the vehicle. Damn. I'm going to spray you, stay in the vehicle. You just spray me out. Just stay in the goddamn vehicle. Trained. Okay, stay in the vehicle, sir. Is what you know, it is. My civil rights. Shit, I'm not the name for sex trees. You can't even question a passenger in the motor vehicle. All right, since you're the lawyer, yeah. sir. Well, guess what? Let for the him officer well. do what he has to do, okay? Guess what? You uh, guys. Uh, what's that? What about it? I don't know, cars. What's that? What's your name and number on the ticket? So, okay. My name's, oh, yeah, my name's Officer Why? Greer. John left later, but he wasn't gone for long. Mere minutes later, he was back at the station because someone had decided to turn his ticket into a DUI. He says he's gonna have his son call. Hey, oh, sh there it is. Hey! Oh, God damn it. But instead of being happy that they had probable cause to get this drunk off the streets, Officer John returned to the gas station mad as a box full of bees making threats. That's it, lock him up. Ron, get step back. Okay. Step back, step back. Do you want to feel pain, sir? Get arrest. I told you to not do that. You're arrest. I have to pull it over. No, no you were you were to sit there just like you were instructed to. Step back. Please put on my um. Come with me right now. Yes, sir. Or you're gonna end up face down on the goddamn ground. You got me. You had plenty enough chances. Ow. Good. I have nothing on me. I don't do drugs. I don't give a rat's. You were given you were enough chances. To you were told to let your friend take care of you. How's he going to pull By his calling his side? side? You were told to sit there while he He's got a ride. Let's go. Okay, you Let's did not go. have to move. You're under arrest. Let's go. You were told. And they didn't stop screaming their heads off. Oh no. John had something else up his sleeve. 
well, Palm. In the car. What am I on the road? Get in the car! In car! Sorry, Ron. You all right? Yeah, I caught on the side of the head, but get in the... Like, I'm gonna do... There! How do you like it now? Now get in the goddamn car! Now! Yes, sir. Now! Getting sprayed twice in the face for not resisting? That's gotta burn, literally. Hopefully, one of the many good apples would put a stop to this, right? Get the car! Pull your legs in! Now! I'm gonna give it to you again! <laughs> Pull your leg in. Now! The other leg, both Easy legs. with the door. He's got a bad hip, don't you? Okay, pull your other leg in. Pull your left leg, leg, leg up. <laughs> okay. At the station, John lied in his report that the victim had refused to get in the patrol car when he sprayed him the first time. The car. What am I on the road? Get in the car! Car! Really? And that the second blast of pepper spray hadn't touched the man's face. Again, really? And he would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for his pesky body camera. John was charged with violating an individual's civil rights and falsifying a record. In 2023, he pleaded guilty to violating an individual's civil rights. His sentencing is still pending. And that's not the only time a crazy cop messed someone up and lied about it. No! Get your hands. But right before that, on October 9th, 2020, Sterling police officer Paul McDaniel showed up at Christian Weitzel's home after a neighbor called 911 about a verbal dispute. What's going on? Just an argument. An argument? Okay. Who all is inside? What's up, man? Come out here and talk to me, man. No, I'm cool. Oh, come out here and talk to me. I'm cool. Okay, then come out here and talk to me. But in just 10 seconds, this cop would lose his entire mind. Hey, do not pull away from me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do not! I didn't, I didn't, I'm not resisting, dude. Why resist? Pull your hands on. Do not fight. I got cuffed. Hey. 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 Let go. Hey. Ah. Stop. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. Right, I got cuffs on. Clear. I can't tell if there's something there. Hey, get off my neck, bro! He's not even on He's not it. not even on your neck. Really? So where's your elbow, dummy? Throwing a guy to the ground for what? Standing at his door? And this crazy cop wasn't done with his power trip. Everybody got that on camera real quick? I didn't say anything. Or resist. You approached me, man. Look at all that videos, man. Really? I'm on the ground, dude. I know. What's wrong with you? I didn't even fight. Let me see your camera, dude. Hey. You really? Don't, you don't make the rules. Uh, I ain't even doing nothing. Let go of yourself. God, what are you doing, dude? Ah. Bench your legs. Hey! Hey. Nothing to see here, just three out of control bad apples, and things were about to get way worse for Christian. Hey! I'm hold him here until I get my car. Ah, get off me, dude. Like that. I didn't even do nothing to y'all. Ready? Ready? Yep. Please get off me, dude. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! Dude, I ain't resisting. Let me walk. Get up. Videotape this. Get off me! If we did that, we dropped you. Ah, hey! 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 Get off me, man! You hurt me, dude! What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you, man? Hey! Come on. Hey! Ah! Damn it! Ow! Ow! Slide, dude! Ow! I can't slide, dude! Get off! There you go. Christian was taken to jail, hogtied, even though he didn't do a thing to these cops. This is police brutality, man. This isn't cool, dude. 
Treat me like a person, treat you like a person, dude. I gave you that opportunity. Dude. I said step outside and talk dude, to me. You made me afraid, dog. Okay, well, when we're there to investigate a crime, we're in charge. Look at the and news, you have to listen man. to us. Alright. My hand really hurts. You guys messed me up, dude. Well, we're almost to the jail. I'll check it there, okay? Dispatch has been updated. Oh, yeah. Spoken like a true tyrant. The craziest part was that this dumb cop knew the 911 call wasn't a big deal. Thank you. Yes. Sounds like. Nothing was, uh, nothing DB related even happened. It wasn't even a DB. It sounds like. If you want that on scene. Oh, I know. Pretty sure he was just itching to use his new strap. Christian was charged with suspicion of disorderly conduct, obstructing a peace officer, and resisting arrest. Charges that were unsurprisingly dropped six months later, but he has since sued the department. As for our man of the hour, he's no longer with the Sterling Police Department. It's one thing for cops to throw their weight around. Watch this crazy cop get mad for absolutely no reason. On March 10th, 2022, a homeless Linda Trapp was discharged from St. Joseph East's emergency department after she fell and hit her head. She needed a negative COVID test to get back into her shelter or she'd be forced to sleep out in the cold. But instead of, I don't know, helping her with that, the hospital staff called 911 to kick her out. Real nice, guys. She's what? She threw the floor out here and started punching people. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. What's going on? It's time for you to leave. I guess. Get your negative COVID test. Huh? I have to have proof of a negative COVID test. Okay, well, it's time for you to leave. Uh, and go work. Huh? Jail, yeah, I guess. I'm not taking you to jail. You need to leave. I'll drag you out and throw you out on the sidewalk. You just want somewhere to, you just want somewhere to sleep tonight. That ain't gonna happen. Oh, bullshit. No, it ain't bullshit. Come on, I'll drag you out. Man, if you want, if you want to call out. my bluff, go ahead. I don't think I remember it. The dumb cop making threats is Lexington police officer Miles Foster, and Linda had no problem calling him out on his behavior. Hurt me? Huh? Hurt me? Hurt you? I guess. Hurt me? I'm not gonna hurt you. Dragging it by your gloves. Yeah, because you no, got stuff coming out of your people, mouth. I don't give a goddamn. These people won't give me a negative cover. They you don't need a negative cover test to stay on the yes, street. Yes, I do. Not to leave on the street, no. You don't. Don't you guys do it when you guys come in? It's a big deal. It's a really big deal. Sorry, we should have done it. Didn't they do one when you came in? Is that all you want is a cover test? Yeah. All right, I'll take you somewhere for a COVID test. Let's go. And the hospital staff really weren't any better. You're yeah. lying. Yeah, I mean, you can't try to hit me and Kate tonight, so we can. You sure did. Me and Kate could send you to jail if we wanted to because you tried to hit us. So I would leave while you're, with your hand. So I would leave while you're ahead. Because we could press charges on you and that's felony. So you well, take your choice. press charges on you all too. Well, you, you do that and then I'll do mine. Where's my cane at? Let's go. Just He's going to lead the way. Come on. Follow him. I had a cane. We'll get you a cane some other time, okay? You're good. Have a cane. Thieves and lawyers. That'll be the nicest thing right here. Here, put your jacket on. It's cold out there. Let me hold your paper. I'll hold your paper. How about that? Let's walk. I had my cane. Let's walk. You heard that? She had her cane. She said you didn't have one. Let's walk. She just said I had my cane. She said last time when you hit it at the other. I didn't hit anybody. All right, all right. Well, I'm not here for that. I've never hit anybody. All right, I think I trust you. I've never hit anybody. Come on. I'd like to. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah. I have got to restrain that, all right? Let's go. I have no. I can't walk down hills. I can't. Let's 
Mexico. Apart from the fall, Linda had a degenerative knee condition. She also couldn't get into a shelter, but Miles didn't care. I can't go back there, though. You can't go back where? Come on. I'm just stuck outside. It ain't that cold at night. You'll be all right. <laughs> hmm? I'm not taking you to jail, so you need to go. I'm trying to go outside. Yes, you have to go outside. And stay outside. Yes. Where do you live at? You homeless? I've never met you before. Yeah, I'm not new to this side of town. Huh? You just lied to me. I didn't lie to you. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah, you said you I'm not go. taking you to jail. You did. No. Come on. No, you're not. No. Right. Uh, 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 no, you cannot. You want to go to jail? I didn't. No. Come on. I'm not you said... I do not want to hurt you. Oh yeah, he says that after throwing her to the ground. Do you want to ride you somewhere? I'll, about try, I'll try to give you a ride, huh? I didn't say nothing about them. You're at St. Joe. Good Sam. You're at St. Joe. I didn't say I was going to give you a ride there. Good Sam. Come on. I'll go out. All right. Where are you going to go? I'll go on my own. You want to go? All right, let's go. Yeah, I'll go. All right, we're not touching you. Go. If I touch you again, you're going to cuff. And you're going to get hurt because I'm going to put you on the ground. Linda. Bye bye. I've never even asked her to see over how long she was. No, we didn't take her. Yeah. Call her. Because if she ends up falling or anything on property, then we'll have to bring her yeah, in. Yeah, we need her to take care of her. I'm going to take her to the bus stop. Come on, Daddy, please. There you go. Linda. Go get I brought a cake. Go find a tree branch or something. You think making jokes about an old, homeless woman is a bad look? You ain't seen nothing yet. You're a liar. You're a liar. 320, 460. Uh, yeah, um, no, you're not going to hurt me. Go ahead and start at 1060. You're like, no! Use your hands. Oh, my God. You um. What's up? You just flew. Because I said I wanted my cane. You broke my knee. You broke my kneecap. You broke my kneecap. Oh, God. Fuck me. Told you to leave. Refuse to listen. Without any warning, this crazy cop had taken Linda down, and he was now blaming her. I don't mess around, Linda, or whatever your name is. Next time you see me, you better not act like this. Who does this guy even think he is? Linda was taken back to the hospital and their terrible staff. It's not just one face. It's one face. No, it's not. Your name's Carter. No, it's not. Your name's Carter. It's one of Selena. Carter. 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 Yes, don't mind. I'm not worried about that. Your name's fine. No, it's not. You need check? Okay. I can't walk. Yeah, you can. You stood up as soon as you Oh, boy. Oh, Lord Jesus. Shut up. Sit back. Sit back. X-ray it. X-ray my knee. X-ray my left knee. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Alright, admit her and I appreciate it. Yeah, it's not so much. Or don't. You, you can do that with your doctor in the office, okay? Uh, I can't I'm walk. Clear that. After checking her for 19 seconds or so, the doctor allowed Miles to take her to jail, where she was charged with trespassing and resisting arrest. An x-ray later revealed that she had fractured her leg. She racked up a $500,000 bill in medical debt in treatment and has now sued the department and the doctor. As for Officer Miles, he, of course, lied in his report to back up everything he did, and the Lexington Police Department is letting him get away with it. But it's not every cop that gets away with going berserk. On the afternoon of June 7th, 2021, three Greeley police officers, including Officer Kenneth Amick, were in a public building confronting a man who threatened to commit arson, only to meet the most talkative man of all time. Do my pizza, right? I can't take you there, but I can take you to jail tomorrow. 
How are you not a taxi driver, man? That is 36-year-old Matthew Wilson, and he had a lot to say about nothing. You know, like I was saying, like if it were to happen right here, you know, I'd move this line out a little bit, that would give a little more coverage to this area. But anyways, you know, whatever, like the kitchen, you know, to be able to sense when it's on the stove and then when it comes off the stove, right? I mean, these systems are incredible. And so, and so what I'm thinking is if the fire starts here, you don't need to soak the entire house in order to put out this fire, right? You just, you just have the activated system right here, boom, pops down. I think aesthetically that it can come out of light because I mean, shit, you know, it pops out of light, bing! Even if, even if it takes out the light bulb, then you just pop back in kind of thing, right? Just put it back in. And the light, put the light back in there. See, you know, so you bring some training in this stuff. Me? I'm an intellect. A lot. I mean, a soccer lady in her shit, you know, big pussy. Big pussy. And so, like, it was the hardest thing in the world for me to give that house to go, oh, God. Oh, oh God. And then she was like swinging her purse at me, that's so fucking sad. I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Well, turns out Matthew had a warrant out. So, Officer Kenneth decided it was time to put a stop to his rambling. I met a judge telling me that I was without my competence. You're not gonna touch me, dude. Not right now. Listen, you can hug me first, and then you can search me. Hug first? Alright, cool. You see this guy, though? I'm just checking. You know what I'm saying? Sure. What's that? When you put it in my butt, you touch my butt, that really sucks and really offends me. Right? All right, go ahead and spread your feet, bud. Aw, such a cute hug. Nothing could possibly go wrong after this. Shouldn't you be making me laugh? Yeah. Shouldn't you be making me smile? Well, I can make you laugh. That's amazing. Okay. Why don't you? Uh, because right now, you're my car. You're me. Dude, I said, Come on, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Look, you're not going to grab my hand. Look. Okay. 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 You're Talking not going to grab my hand. I, okay. I didn't grab her. You are. So, please. You good? You're going you're gonna to mellow? You've got a warrant for your arrest, okay? Even when other officers on the scene tried to intervene, Kenneth just kept making things worse. Stand up. No, stand up. wait a minute. I didn't vandalize anything. Stand up. Stand up. The judge put up a warrant for you. Excuse me. Oh, my up. wrist hurts, ma'am. It, it hurts so bad. I didn't pull away from you. You're a fucking hurt me. Why do you hurt me? You walk like a drone. Why? Man. Then let go of my fucking wrist. You walk like a drone. Excuse me, dude. See how you're grabbing my hand? That's your hand? My bad. My bad! Let go of it! Let go of my hand! Let go of, Let go of it! I am not playing with you anymore, you understand? If I tell you to let go of my hand, let go of my hand! I thought it was my hand! I told you twice! Now this you time, why don't you stand up? up? Listen, you're gonna stand up! You're, you're gonna, gonna walk like a grown man in my car! Get off me! Do you understand? Get off me! Do you understand? Get the f off me, dog. Do you understand? Get the off me now. We can sit here all day. But another cop on the scene, who had better things to do with her day, decided that enough was enough. I haven't done anything to hurt you. Do you understand? I gave you a hug then and you pushed up, me okay? away. Stand up. Stand up. I gave you a okay. hug. Now, my wrists are hurting. Walk. Okay. Look at me. The car is right there. Let's I mean, go. I'll walk. To the car, I mean, okay? this. I'll go. walk. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Having a meltdown because a guy you're holding in cuffs touched your hand? How idiotic is that? But Officer Kenneth wasn't done yet. After they'd put Matthew in the back of the patrol car, he had some strong words for the officer, who had put a stop to his shenanigans. I don't like being told by anyone when I'm controlling a suspect what to do. If he was non compliant, I'll let him sit there all day. Happy Squad, go work fucking Happy Squad. Well, he doesn't sound like a psychopath at all. Two officers reported the incident, and Kenneth went from throwing his weight around to being put on unpaid administrative leave. Not long after, Kenneth was charged with second-degree assault. He pleaded guilty to the lesser charge of reckless endangerment and was sentenced to 12 months probation. Bet he wishes someone had told him how to do his job a little sooner.